Welcome to Depth Insight Geoscience Modeling Training Course. This time, we will introduce Reservoir Geological Modeling Workflow. This course contains phases modeling and petrophysical modeling. The first one includes two methods, interactive phases modeling and interpolating with wave logs. By next, we will demonstrate the main workflow during modeling. Launch Depth Insight and choose modeling in the main interface. Choose open in the toolbar and select the corresponding demonstration model. Before reservoir geological modeling, the structure model of depth domain should have been accomplished and corresponding wave data has been loaded into the structural model. Especially the wave log data. Zoom the display window and check the loaded porosity curve After finishing the preparations, switch to reservoir geological model in the toolbar. Right-click the black in the tray pane and choose new model. Fill in the name in the pop-up dialog. Then, double-left-click to select the starting layers and double-right-click for the end layers, the inner layers are selected for the modeling. Right click the model node and define the boundary. Depth Insight provides three methods, including join a boundary manually, set the boundary coordinates, and import boundary file. This time, we chose the join manually. Left click to draw a closed polygon and double left to end. In the properties pane, we can set weather show the boundary. Right click the model node and choose Generate geocellular grids. As we can see, the generated grids in the display window. Based on the geocellular grids, we can conduct phases modeling or petrophysical modeling. Set the display control and hide grids of the layer model. At first, Interactive Faces Modeling Demonstration Create a new property or faces model and choose faces in the pop-up dialog. Fill in the name. As for the faces information, we can choose the default template or new. This time, we chose new. Set the grid size. Define the layers by the average thickness. Then we can see the new faces model below the properties node in the pane tree. Right click the faces model and choose edit faces information. Open the faces information picture for reference. The assigned faces colors should be kept the same with the color in faces maps. Therefore, we should set the RGB according to the picture legend. Right click the black in the pop up dialog 
insert the face's name refer to the provided picture. After finishing editing the name, switch to table editing mode. According to the RGB in the provided picture legend, set the face's color respectively. After completing the color setting, close the dialog. Set the data source in the property panes as other. Right click on your layer group and choose create property body. We can see the new nodes below each air in the tree pane. Right click on your layer group and choose best import faces maps. In the pop up dialog, Double left click in the black and choose corresponding faces map. After choosing the maps, click import. Then we can see the faces map has been imported in the display window. Hide property node we can check the imported faces distribution layer by layer. Depth Insight provides interactive editing according to the geologic recognition. Right click the layer node, choose Edit Faces property. Left click to select the recognized faces in the properties pane. closed polygon in the imported map. Double right click to end. The selected faces is assigned in the polygon. We can edit the faces distribution of the other layers in the same way. This above is interactive faces modeling workflow. By next, we'll demonstrate how to build faces model with geostatistics simulation. Right click model node, create a new model. In the pop up dialog, choose faces. Fill in the name and choose new faces information. Set the grid size. Define layers by average thickness. Then we can see the new model below the properties nodes in the tree pane. Right click the new model and choose edit faces information. It is necessary that the faces name must be kept consistent with the number or name in the web logs. Therefore, open the web log data for reference. Right click the black and in the interface. Fill in faces name according to the web log value. Then, switch to table editing mode to specify the face's color. Set the data source of the model as well logs and choose YLSY curve. Right click oil layer group and choose create a new property body. 
Then we can see the property nodes below each layer. Right click the oil layer group and choose Extract Well Logs. When the information pane in the bottom shows Extracting Ends, right click oil group and choose Scale Up. In the pop up dialog, specify the layers and algorithms for the discrete log. This time, we select the default one, most all. We can see the scaling up results in the display window. Right click the layer and Conduct data analysis. Choose the faces in the pop up dialog. Fit the variable gram to get the measured direction range. The separation distance where there is no longer any change in the degree of correlation between pairs of data values is the measured direction range. Get minor direction range and the vertical direction range by the same way. Finally, fill in the direction range values. and set whether all the faces use the same variable ground. After data analysis, choose the data interpolation, and the faces in the left box to the right. Specify whether use the data analysis without. If not, set the viral gram parameters manually. This time, we use the without. And then, start geostatistics simulation. Finally, we can see the phases distribution and we can conduct phases modeling for other layers in the same way. This above is geostatistics simulation workflow of phases modeling. By next, we will demonstrate the main workflow of petrophysical modeling. Right click model node and choose new. In the pop up dialog, select properties and Fill in the name. Then set the grid size, define layers by average thickness. Then we can see the new model below the properties nodes in a tree pane. Set the data source in a properties pane as well logs. and choose porosity curve. Right click oil layer group and choose create property body. We can see the porosity body below each layer. Then choose extract well logs. When information pane in the bottom shows extracting ends, choose scale up. In the pop-up dialog, specify the layers and algorithms. This time, we use the default one. For checking the scaling up results clearly, we can set the colors in properties pane.
according to the curve value range. Zoomed window, we can see the results with different colors. Right click the layer and select data analysis. As for containers property, before data analysis, the data should be transformed to fit the standard normal distribution and input truncation to the right box and choose it. Switch to input data. We can see the raw data range from 6.1 to 24. Set the minimum value as 10. Refresh. And we can see the output data range from 10 to 24. Choose normalization and refresh. We can see the values below 10 have been filtered. After transformation, switch to variogram. Fit variogram to get the major direction range. The separation distance where there is no longer any change in the degree of correlation between pairs of data values is the range value for one of the corresponding directions. Get the minor direction range in the same way. Besides, we can use the empirical value as the vertical direction range. After analysis, conduct a data interpolation. In the pop-up dialog, we can set whether use analysis without. If not, fill in the viral gram parameters manually. This time, we use analysis without. In addition, set faces control or second variable to control interpolating quality. Conduct geostatistics simulation. Finally, we can see the porosity distribution in the display window. This above is the petrophysical modeling workflow. Enjoy working with Depths Insight and contact with us for more details. Thank you for your attention.